What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force uh, video and uh, we have uh, the new blog post and uh, Kate Bishop was announced with a big surprise. Kate Bishop is going to be a tech character which is something that uh, most people did not expect. So in this video we are going to do a breakdown of our kit and uh, take into consideration all the abilities that she does and if any of those abilities is going to help us in the tech lane on the Doom Raid, second Doom Raid. Okay, so let's get started. Kate Bishop, as you can see the stats right here and the stats are going to be very important. And also her speed for us to realize if this character is going to be good or not for the tech lane. Okay, so at gear tier 16, so this requires level 85, she only has 300,000 HP, that's very very low. And by the way, this is with isolated level 5 into consideration. So yeah, kinda kinda low. 25,000 damage is also very low, 14,000 armor is acceptable but uh, not the, the best out there and uh, 10,000 focus, almost 11,000. Let's assume it's 11,000 at 7 yellow stars for red stars gear T16. It's very, very low for a controller. The isolate recommendation that they give is Raider and uh, Striker. So this is a big yikes if you are considering using her for the tech nodes. Another reason why she's not great, it's also her speed. She clocks in at 113 speed and that's just atrocious. M many of the problems we, we have on the tech nodes of the second Doom Raid is that we face characters that are extremely fast like Silver Surfer, like uh, Colin Wing, like uh, Captain Sam. Most of these characters are around 120 speed and her being at 113 she will al always get the ultimates in her face and only after, if she is alive, which uh, it's unlikely, only after she will do something. So if you are thinking that this is going to be the tech solution, is, this, is Kate Bishop more of a tech solution than uh, Star Lord T'Challa is? very very unlikely but let's take a look at the full kit and break down each individual part okay so asteroid she has hero global tech controller and young avenger i expected her to be city but i guess this is going to be based on her comics so maybe in the comics she is a global character i don't really know i don't really care about this type of characters okay so let's take a look at her basic Attack the primary target for piercing damage, nice. Clears to random positive effects, very nice. But remember, trash focus. On crit, on crit, chain to one adjacent target and clear two positive effects, random. Also doing piercing damage, nice. Once again, trash focus and requires crit, oh my god. On war defense, apply taunt to which of those targets that you attack with your basic. Okay, that's interesting for war defense only. If this character has charge gain 25% crit chance, that will help with this. So you get a crit chance by using the special or on spawn on Alliance Wars defense. So that's gonna be interesting. This attack cannot be blocked and cannot be dodged. Now, this is the first situation where this ability might be somewhat useful is to remove the taunt from Captain Sam. Once again, she has trash focus, but the fact that this ability, the basic attack, cannot be blocked, that means that maybe we will have the chance of clearing the taunt from Captain Sam. But that's only if she survives, which so far we don't think that which she will survive. Now we have the special. Three arrows, three energy comes full. Attack the primary target and adjacent targets for a nice amount of damage, but it's not piercing, so it's going to be affected by armor. Flip three positive effects on each target to negative effects. 
Ok, very very interesting, flipping positive effects is always good, but once again, she has trash focus. If this character is charged, apply offense up for 2 turns to self and young avengers allies. Now this is going to be important and just uh, something really quick. Ok, so on spawn she will have offense up, this is going to increase her focus a little bit, 50%, so that makes makes it a little bit better and uh, thanks to this offense up we'll be able to keep that focus a little bit higher but still 15,000 at 7 yellow stars so at low yellow stars it's gonna be like uh, 10,000 maybe which is very very low if this character is not charged fill the speed bar by 75% and then gain charge so this is how you get charge in order to get this additional crit chance on the basic this attack cannot be dodged which is fine i guess which characters do dodge on the tech nodes we have cloak that dodges a lot but apart from cloak do we have any other characters not really and does cloak have a lot of positive effects not really so she's not gonna help much we have uh, the flipping effects, but beyond uh, doing this to Captain Sam, it's not going to be super relevant. And like I said before, if she survives, because uh, with the offense up that uh, Sharon Carter gives to Captain Sam, and then Captain Sam doing this big ultimate, very, very unlikely that uh, this uh, Kate Bishop will stay alive. Now we have her ultimate. Empty the quiver, energy cost 2 out of 5, big big yikes. So this is an ability that you are probably not going to be ever able to use on the first node, because or you do the node too fast or you do it too slow and you end up dying because the silver surfer becomes invincible because he's so fast. So this is a very absurd ability that has barely no use on the tech nodes. But let's take a look, so 2 out of 5 energy, attack all enemies for piercing damage, nice. If this character has charge, apply blind to the enemy with the highest damage and 2 random negative effects for all enemies for 2 turns. Ok, this ability is quite interesting, but once again, 2 out of 5 energy and she is very very slow, 113 speed compared to other characters that are 120 plus speed the negative effects that we'll be able to apply will be defense down disrupt offense down and slow now if somehow you are able to charge up this ability on the first node if somehow you are able to charge up this ability on the first node and then use it on the second node before captain sam goes this is going to be a very interesting ability, if you can apply this blind to Captain Sam, maybe Gamora, but also the offense down, that will increase the survivability of your team by quite a lot. We also have the disrupt, that will prevent a lot of buffs from the enemy team, so this ability might have some use in case you can charge it up on the first node. So big, big question. After using this ability, you lose the charge. On war defense, lose, don't you? Okay, let's ignore the all war defense bullshit because it's not relevant for the tech nodes. This attack cannot be dodged and this attack cannot be counter attack. Okay, that's nice, but I would like to see here cannot be blocked because if this attack can be blocked, we still have some problems with the Captain Sam. So, some potential here to apply negative effects on the enemy team and that's going to be convenient on the second node in terms of the third node the offense down and the slow and defense down it's also somewhat useful but uh, it's going to be it's going to be those rng fests that no one ever wants because one node one day you might do this and uh, you are able to do it and everything goes well but after the next day you go there and you get the wrong debuff on the enemies and then what the hell happened? No one knows, but it was RNG Jesus just playing with you. Okay, so now let's take a look at the passive. 
Offense up on spawn, like I said before, this increases the focus by 50%. On death of a young Avenger ally, this is not going to be relevant because on the tech nodes there are no other young Avenger allies. When this character drops below 50%, gain to evade. Okay, that's nice. Gain 25% resistance, that's going to be nice as well. Maybe we can survive that early onslaught from Colin Wing or Silver Surfer or whatever. And then we have some additional war defense effects. We are going to ignore this part. We'll be back to take a look at the entire team and see what makes them tick on war defense and if they are going to be decent or not for war defense. But in terms of the tech line, of the second doom raid we don't have much to work here with piercing damage clear positive effects that's nice but which positive effects are we trying to clear only a few characters have positive effects like uh, rescue iron heart maybe corvus glaive if you are fast enough which this character is not fast and uh, maybe the taunt from uh, captain sam but still that's gonna be a huge stretch and uh, I don't see as much potential as I saw with the Lady Death Strike and uh, with the Star Lord T'Challa. Now, once again, in terms of the ability, flips positive effects. Okay, that's interesting, but not really. Does damage that is not piercing, so the enemies will have a huge armor and that will cut uh, the damage in uh, half at least. And here we have piercing damage, we have all these negative effects and so on, but it's going to be a RNG fast and, uh, like I said before, a 2 out of 5 energy. If this character would be a lot faster, like 25%, uh, 25 speed, 125 speed, or if this character actually had an enough amount of HP, like 500k or something like this, then yes, Kate Bishop would be a character worth considering on the tech lane. But at the, in this state, in this state what we are watching right here, 7 yellow stars, 4 red stars and ISO 8 level 5, 300k HP is very very low. And uh, yeah, it requires the, the charging up of the ultimate. Now you could charge the ultimate with the OG Star Lord but uh, he is not great he dies very very easy he has worse survivability than uh, the star lord t'challa and because of that i really don't see how exactly we are supposed to make this team work like i said there is a possibility there is a possibility if you can keep this ability charged all the time that it will be somewhat decent but uh, it's not uh, a solution because of all the problems that she, this character has. I think uh, from all the characters that we had released uh, lately, Lady Deathstrike, uh, Star Lord T'Challa and Kate Bishop, she's probably the worst. But that's my first impressions for now on Kate Bishop and the fact that she's a tech character. Is the, she the solution for the tech nodes? No, she's another character that you might plug and play every now and then, maybe. But with that huge ass cooldown on the ultimate, I really don't see how she's going to do anything. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. First impressions on Kate Bishop for the tech lane. Doesn't seem that impressive. Doesn't seem that interesting as it was uh, Star Lord T'Challa or Lady Death Strike. I think sh they only made their tech to make sure that some people would buy it. It's like a bait. I, I really thought that she was going to be skill, and the only reason I see for her to be tech is to bait someone into buying her and to gear her up just to see if she's gonna be good or not in the tech lanes. I can tell you one thing, I'm not gonna be that guy because I really don't see it, but if someone else does it, well, good luck with that. So that's gonna be all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this information. If you did like always, make sure you smash that like button. And if you found the information helpful, make sure you share it to your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content, and I will catch you guys later.